What's up, everybody? It's Friday, Friday. I missed you guys on yesterday. I wasn't feeling that great, but hey, I'm back. And where's all of my jesters? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree Easy, a.k.a. Fresh for the Salon, BKA, the People's Champion, and today we have some news for you. So, first thing that we want to talk about is Michael Vick. So, you remember when we did the video, uh, I think earlier this week or maybe last week, and we talked about how people were signing petitions saying, hey, Michael Vick do not need to be the Pro Bowl captain because of his uh, past or whatnot. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell said, bump that, we don't care, we're moving forward, Michael Vick will be the Pro Bowl captain. So congratulations to you, Michael Vick. Awesome job. And, and congratulations to all of the gym stars because when y'all said it down in the comments that we didn't give a damn about that pass because there's people that done worse, yeah, we made we a did. difference. That's right. We and make a difference on yeah. this show. Yes, one in the White House right now. But wow. anyway, so also, last night, Lamar Jackson broke Michael Vick's uh Record. Single, Russian single for, for Russian. Russian record Single? By yeah, what he said. So he uh, did a congratulatory video to Lamar Jackson, which was pretty awesome. So congratulations to both of those guys. Second topic for today. Rest in peace for Danny Aiello. I hope Danny Aiello. Danny Aiello. D Danny Aiello. Yeah, so um, he... Uh, was the star? He was the dad from Do the Right Thing, and he passed away last night at the age of what? Six? Eighty-six. Eighty-six. Man, that's a long time to live. Mm -hmm. That's a long time to live. Mm -hmm. So just rest in peace to him. And in honor of him, we want you guys to put in the comments below what was your favorite scene from Do the Right Thing and your, and favorite, your character. favorite character. So make sure you put that below in the comments. Mm -hmm. All right. Next up, we have. Who you going with? Who you going with? So this is the Battle of the Reginas. You, Jay hates when I do that, but anyway. <laughs> so we have Regina Hall, who played in like all of the what, scary movies. All the scary movies. All the scary movies. And we have Regina King from 227 Watchmen. Uh, what's that show you used to watch, Jay? Uh, she was in the South, enemy of, What's yeah, that show she said? South, Southland. Southland. She was in enemy of the state. Uh, that was the best scene ever in the enemy of the state, though. But that's when you know she was fit. You're like, damn, she is actually fit. Y'all know what I'm talking about from any Nah, nah, she, she definitely has a banging body. Yeah. Banging body. And she does the voice from um, Boondocks, or she Yo, did Riley. the voice Riley from um, Boondocks. So drop it below. Regina Hall or Regina King. That's not a good picture of That's Regina not a good Hall. picture. Why did you one pick one? that I don't know one. why. Because it was both of them together, man. I can't. I, can't I told Jay, let me pick the pictures. But anyway. Yeah, Regina Hall. Regina so King. So leading to um, the NBA 2K news well nba news uh the nba commissioner david stern former. former thank you for the correction jay former nba commissioner david stern i uh, had to go have emergency emergent can i not talk to say emergency surgery because he has um, a yeah, brain, brain hemorrhaging so um not much has been reported on that but uh we're still waiting for an update to that, and that's all I have for you today. And now on to the 2K news. Hey, Don't get, tell me to seat. get your seat. Get oh. my seat. Hey, but first off, man, what I want to say is, I want to say we, we hope a speedy recovery, thoughts and all that good stuff, good energy and all that good stuff to David Stern. Y'all don't understand how influential, like a lot of y'all might be like, well, I don't care about no doggone, uh, I don't care about the NBA, blah, 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 this and that. If you're watching this video, you got to care about the NBA, and you have to care about the things that David Stern has done for the NBA. Listen, when David Stern, 1984, when David Stern came into the league, there were no there were no real TV contracts. The NBA Finals, one of the best finals ever, the uh, the Lakers versus the Boston, Boston Celtics, all those Hall of Famers on one team was on tape delay. I remember watching these games on tape delay. Y'all don't even know what tape delay is. See, back in the day, sports wasn't a big deal until like the late 80s, early 90s. They weren't really a super huge deal as far as TV went. So they didn't, They, you see how all sports are live right now? Now, you know how sometimes you go to TNT and they're playing the game at 10 o'clock that happened at seven? That's what used to happen with the NBA, except for it would be like the next day. Or they play the game at one o'clock in the evening and then they play it at like on tape delay at like six o'clock or nine o'clock or 10 o'clock or at a spot where 
a, a spot where you know it, it, it really didn't um it, there was nothing else to put on sports was not always like it was well maybe football but basketball was not always at the forefront like it is now where you got basketball almost every night of the week you have the nba network you got players making millions of dollars they look charles barkley said <clears throat> when when he started in 1984 the average salary of an NBA player, and I remember this too, is $250,000. Now, the average salary of an NBA player is $9 million. And most of that is, is mostly in part to David Stern because he was a visionary. He had the foresight to say, we need to take this NBA past the United States and become a global game. Hey, when Arvita Sabonis was the best player in the world and he decimated those college players, in th I think in 88, David Stern was the one that said, you know, we're going to put together the dream team and we're going to put our best versus everybody else's best and we're going to see what happens. And, and since then, the dream team, and that's how the dream team was born. Y'all didn't even know Arvita Sabonis, uh, you know, uh, who the guy that played for the Pacers, his dad. I, I can't think of what his Sabonis, what Sabonis is. Arvita Sabonis was widely regarded as the best player on the planet back then. And, uh, and, you know, they won they won the Olympics in 88. If I'm not mistaken, it was 88. Y'all let me know down in the comments. But he was the best player in the world. And they was like, we're not doing that again. And then he, he got drafted early. I think he got drafted by the Hawks. And then he didn't come until he was 31. And then um, that all this stuff, you know, all this stuff. He came when he was 31, but he went to the Portland Trail Blazers. He still had a good career. He was rookie of the year at 31 and all that. Sabonis so was tough. But that's not the point. The point is... Yeah, the point is, David Stern took the NBA from a lackluster local game and made it into a global game. Now this game is in 200 countries. We have NBA 2K, which is a game based on this game. They got TV deals. They got bulging salaries. We got shoes. We got all this stuff. We got merch, everything. A lot of this is just like what Pete Rosell did for the NFL when the NFL was on life support before the early 70s, what Pete Rosell and... um. The owner of the Raiders, uh, but they did. I forgot what his name is, man. Uh, let me see. I, I gotta look it because I gotta pay homage. Let me see. Raiders. Um, Al. I can't think of what his name is, man. Uh, I can't. Oh man, come on, man. No, 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 no. Uh, Raiders owner in the seventies. I can't think of what his name. I, I, it's right on the tip of my tongue, man. Al Davis. Ain't it Al Davis? Let me let me know. Anyway, Al Davis. What Al Davis and Pete Rosell did. For the uh for the NFL, yeah, Al Davis. What Al Davis and Pete Rosell did for the NFL, Al Davis was a commissioner too for a while. What they did for the NFL, this is what David Stern did for the NBA. So I can't say enough about David Stern. If you love basketball, this hits you hard too. It hits you home, and and hopefully, if you ever known anybody that had a brain hemorrhage, a lot of times they don't catch it in time in order to save the person's life. So we're glad that they did this. But anyway, on to the next thing, man. Look, I, I talked way too long about that. But speaking of that, we wouldn't have stuff like this. The NBA is, is a segue. And the NBA is a global game such so much that the NBA 2K European, uh, uh, the NBA 2K League European Invitational is this weekend. This is how much the NBA is a global game, that people are playing, not only playing the game outside, they're playing 2K. And now uh, it's gonna be from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And look, look, man, they got the stage. The stage is set, all this stuff. Um, the stage is set. They said it's gonna be here, in, there in London. Who will be the top player uh, coming out here? I don't really know how this is gonna work though, because Dimes retweeted it, so I don't know. And then they got pictures of Bear and all of that, because this is season three. I don't know. If what they're saying is, um, I don't know if what they're saying is they're gonna do they're gonna do the whole thing as in as in uh, it's gonna be the local players or it's gonna be uh, European players. I really don't know, but we do know that Frank White is gonna be there. The black Frank White gonna be there, and uh, you know he's one of the comment. Hey, look, man, let me tell y'all something. My dream is to get up on that stage and be one of the commentators, man. Maybe I'm not good enough to play in the 2K League, but I'm definitely good enough to be one of the commentators or or one of the color commentators or one of the um, analysts or what have you. Did so you say color? Color. Not cause, hush, y'all. You can't say stuff like that on YouTube. Color commentators, as in, you know, you, you're talking about... I, I'm not even going to look. You're going to mess around and get me demonetized. No, that's what it sounds like. Enunciate. I am enunciating, hush. But anyway, that's my dream to be one of the color commentators and, and continue to be, and you know, um, do all the color commentary 
and and maybe just do like the interviews and stuff like that. That's what I want to do. So that's what we're gonna start doing. We're gonna look at uh, somebody hit me up on Twitter about that, and I was saying yes, that's what I want to do, and that was my vision for this show in the beginning. We wanted to do comp games, uh, 2K league games, and all those types of things, but none of that stuff has started yet. And so at the beginning of this show, I couldn't do it. Now that WR starting to set in and all this stuff, uh, we can do stuff like that. So we're gonna move forward, try to get uh, interviews with everybody and all of that good stuff. But moving on. Mike Wong is tweeting again. Somebody says, hey, Beluva, hey, um, Mike King, Mike and Mike, Mike and Mike in the morning. Look, Mike King says, was there a bug or something that caused you to take out the uh, escapes that were in Pro 3 and Pro 5 size-up packages? Y'all know the broke-ass escapes and all that that was in there. And he says, yeah, they were causing the moves that you chain out of, uh, that you chain out of them to be flipped. And he just says, thanks for the info. Look, man, all I know is I don't know how that really impacts the game. You guys have to tell me down low, but I don't know how that really impacts the game. I just know that Pro 3 and Pro 5 were the most broken hesitations, and they were the ones that everybody used and everybody cheesed off of. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know if that's going to uh, make the game, break the game, kill the game, or whatever. But y'all let me know how, if you've practiced with it, if you use those two things, let me know how it has impacted you're playing the game. And last but not least, man, check this out. <laughs> Bro, this doggone meme right here, I'm going to leave it. Look, these are the two memes that, that, that are awesome, man. Look, if you ever seen Alicia Keys, the diary of Alicia Keys, man, of uh, the, um, you know how her and her, her and her backup singer, uh, what, what was his name, Bridge? I forgot what his name Jermaine was. Paul? Uh, Jermaine Paul were going back and forth on it. We got two awesome, awesome Twitter videos where they just like, they showing how they going back and forth. And he's like, it's like, this is Alicia Keys right here. And then it's like, uh, you know, I won't tell your secret. Let me, let me just fast forward. How they just, how he's just like, I won't tell. Yeah, you know, that's how, that's how they going back and forth. And then Katie Don, you know, she did, she did, did something different. Whereas, where you know where it's like they're doing the whoa, 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 whoa. So y'all need to go check out these. I can't play the music for obvious reasons, but y'all just see how they, how they just so extra with it. And you know what? I thought it was all a joke until I found an actual performance of them two going back and forth. And they ain't being extra at all. Look at this. It's like she going there. He... <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, it's it's extremely, it was extremely accurate, man. And last but not least, man, like I said, hey, we didn't make it under 12 minutes, but my favorite, well, like I said, in honor of Danny Aiello, man, my favorite scene from, uh, from, from Do The Right Thing was this. Love and Hate, Radio Raheem, favorite character. He was my, as a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna make this shirt right here. I'm gonna make this shirt. Love and hate. Cause Radio Raheem was my favorite character, man. And it was like the message that he gave was so profound in this day. Look, we even got Spike Lee with the love and hate rings on. The message that he gave was so profound in a world where hate seems like it's taking over and winning. All we got to save us is love. And the left is whooping much ass, but the right is making the comeback. Boom, knocked out by the right hand, left hand, hate, knocked out by love, KO. The only thing that can conquer hate in this world is love. So don't, you know, that's, and this this is also why when you try to shake somebody's hand, this is why we, this is ever since this right here, you try to shake somebody's hand with your left hand, no, right hand. Ain't no left hand doubt. Because if I hate you, I hate you. But if I love you, I love you, my brother. You know, you and I got, to me when we first met. What? That you did the whole love hate thing because I was giving you my left hand. Yeah, and I don't got that's why I said. I love you, girl. Right. Go, hush. <laughs> Get out of here. Anyway, man, like I said, y'all let me know if y'all don't do left hand dap because of this right here, man. Because of the Radio Raheem, we don't do, um, you know, like I said, Radio Raheem ain't no longer with us. And he played in a lot of movies too, man. You know, a lot of Spike Lee movies. And he also played in, um, what was it, uh, with the Pit Bulls and all that, Bridget, uh, New Jack City, all that. In, in, anyway, but that's where that comes from for me. Radio Raheem was one of my favorite characters. Also, Spike, uh, not Spike Lee, uh, Nick Fury. Samuel Jackson was one of my favorite characters. Y'all need to keep, cheer that shit out. And that's the triple truth, Ruth. Y'all know. But anyway, we about to get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hey, look, what we got coming soon for y'all. T-Mizzle, we got the...
We got the bag up gang tees coming today. Look how big that is, boy. I got the big prints. Look at that. Bag up gang apparel coming today, chat. So y'all be ready for that. We're going to have hoodies, shirts, and all of that stuff as soon as I clear it with T-Mizzle and we get all that stuff together. So, you know, make sure y'all y'all stay tuned for that. Check out the store, uh, breezetees.com. The dopest apparel, you got, you're not going to find another YouTube or streamer that does any more apparel like this than us. And if you want a Christmas bag for your kids, you order it by the 20th. We had a couple of them. What was his name? What's his name? Radio Raheem. You can put any name in there and it'll pop up and uh, and we'll get it and we'll put it out just like that. By December 20th. You, by yeah. December 20th. You got to have your order by December 20th. That's for the entire store if it's going to yeah. be a Christmas present. If it's going to be a Christmas present, get it by December 20th. And then, like I said, um, if you order some stuff, uh, everything's going today. Let me show y'all one more thing before I go. Shout out to everybody that's rocking with me. But let me show y'all one more thing before I go. We had some the original orders that came in last week. We got them done. They looking good. These pink Yoda shirts spot you, I will. But these joints is hard. If you ordered one, we had two orders of pink Yoda shirts. They going out today. All the uh, all the um, the uh, straight out of shape shirts. They're going out today. Everything, man. We got we got everything again. We got new equipment, all that stuff. So make sure y'all. Hit the site up, hit it. Legends born in December, all that stuff. And I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Love you, brothers. Peace.